Hello, welcome to the Art Institute of Seattle. Today I am going to show you how to make some French macaroon. So for the French macaroon, we are going to need uh, several um, ingredients. So I got some egg whites right here. I have some almond powder right there and some powdered sugar right here. So those are going to be the three main ingredients needed for that recipe. Now on top of our ingredients, we also need some tools. The tools that we need are our stand-up mixer right here, uh, tamis, some rubber spatulas, look at this nice pink one, some bowl scrapers, a piping bag with a small tip, and a bowl with a whisk attachment. So the first step when you make French macaroon is to sift your powders. So as shown earlier, we have some almond powder as well as powdered sugar. And we're going to sift those two together. To efficiently sift, you rock your tummy from one end to the other. Just like so. This is a bowl scraper. I'm using the bowl scraper to push more of the dry ingredients through the mesh of the tummy. And with this paper, I am not going to throw it away, the leftover parchment that I have here. I'm actually going to keep it for when I'm ready to pipe. And I will pipe my little macaroons on this paper. Our second step today is to whip up our egg whites. We have our mixer right here. We're going to pour, pour, pour our egg whites inside the mixer bowl. Add our whisk in there and Set everything on the mixer. We're going to whip up those egg whites to stiff peak. I will show you that when we come back. Now we are going to add the flavoring, in today's case, some vanilla. The following step is going to be to mixing our powders with our egg whites. Um, usually, if I were to make a macaroon with a different type of flavor, I would put the food coloring inside the egg whites. Today, we are making vanilla macaroon, which explains the reason why those egg whites are still white. We got the little speckles of uh, vanilla in inside. That's about it. I am starting by adding half of my powder inside my bowl, just like that. And with my rubber spatula, I am going to fold the powders with the egg whites. I'm gonna to go to about this stage right here, where the powders are incorporated, and the egg white starts to break down, and add the remaining half of the powders. If you take a look now, Okay, the batter is already all mixed in. All the powder is, are mixed inside the whites, but the mix is not sufficiently mixed to give you a nice macaroon. If I were to pipe this right now, the macaroon would be too light, looking like a meringue. Okay, so we wanna keep on folding, keep on mixing this, and this step right here is called macarooning. Our next step is going to be piping this batter that is now ready to be piped. I have my uh, piping tip here, it's a small one. It's uh, roughly uh, 10 millimeter 
Okay, I am going to push my bag inside my tip to close it. Now the batter won't be able to run through. With the help of a ball scraper, two pipe. You want to start from the center, pipe, start piping, move out. Okay, you get on position, you press, you release the pressure, you move out. This next step is specific to macaroon. Um, a macaroon needs to crust and develop a thin layer of uh, sugar at the surface uh, before we can actually bake them. Um, the reason why we do this, the reason why we let the macaroon crust is to prevent the cookie from splitting and cracking open uh, during the baking process. So um, to do, we could just leave them dry out in the air right now. Uh, to accelerate this process, we're going to take our sheet pans and let them dry a little bit in front of the oven. This step is called crusting. So, we're going to do a quick check to see if our macarons are ready for oven. As you can see here, the batter is not sticking to my finger anymore, which means that they are sufficiently crusted. Temperature of the oven on 300 and uh, the baking time is going to be 8 minutes. So now uh, our macarons are baked. We are going to take them out and let them cool. So they are uh, darkened a little bit, but that's okay. It is still definitely. We're going to put a nice amount of buttercream. Got some delicious cream. There we go. To be eaten.